It's a cold and wet night, winter in New Zealand. So what else are we going to do but play with electronics in the comfort of our own home? So I want to do some investigation into the Nissan Leaf battery. Um, luckily I don't have to drag the whole battery into my house. What I've got is the computer. This is the uh, famous, famous on YouTube at least, the original one that we cooked when we tried to change Gen 2 batteries into my Gen 1 car. It still talks and so it's the best candidate for a, uh, for a test run in case I've done something wrong and fry something else. At least I've got a pre-cooked chicken. So yeah, this is the computer from a Nissan Leaf battery and it's attached to a wiring loom also from a Nissan Leaf battery and this is the connector that would normally come out of the battery. I've got it wired up via a breadboard to an OBD2 Bluetooth thing which I'm hoping to use this phone here to interact with the output of that so I guess you're not going to find in this video whether it worked or not. Anyway, this has been wired up according to the pinouts worked out by Wolftronics who is an uber geek. So there's his pinout diagram for the Leaf battery. We need 12 volt power into this so I'm using my cool little Chinese lab power supply. It's been provided with, as you can see, 40 volts from one of my electric bike batteries. So basically we've got a fine selection of stuff. We've got an electric bike battery, a power supply, a breadboard, OBD2 connector, leaf computer, all on the kitchen table. What could be more civilised? So, let's see if it remains civilised. Let's see if we get any flashing lights or smokes. Here we go. Output 12 volts. Something's on. We've got a red light. That's a good sign. I was hoping for flashing lights though. So um, I'm now going to stop this video and get myself into Leaf Spy.